Today I'm going to show you how to make a deconstructed Big Mac with 57 grams of protein. Instead of using a bun, I will prepare 250 grams of potatoes. Personally, I like to peel the potatoes because it makes them crispier, but you can of course leave the skin on if you prefer. After peeling, you need to cut the potatoes into thick strips, turn them and then cut them again into bite-sized cubes. Try to cut them roughly into the same size so they can cook evenly. After cutting, take out a microwave safe container, put all the potatoes in and now microwave the potatoes at 600 watts for 5 Five minutes. This will drastically reduce the cooking time later in the pan and make the potatoes crispier. In the meantime, you need to prepare 180 grams of extra lean ground beef. This particular one has 5% fat. As you can see, there are almost no white spots from the fat and this results in about half the calories than in regular ground beef that has 20% fat. Next is a low calorie Big Mac sauce that you can use for a ton of other recipes and it starts with light mayonnaise. This is basically the same as regular mayo but it has a lot less oil, it still has 270 calories per 100 grams, which is a lot, but you need the sweet taste of mayonnaise for this sauce and you only need to add 10 grams of this into the glass, so it's not that big of a deal. Next is ketchup with zero added sugars. This honestly tastes almost the same as the regular ketchup, but it has a lot fewer calories. 10 grams goes into the glass as well, then you need 5 grams of mustard, about 1 tablespoon of the pickle liquid that is stored in the glass, a pinch of salt, freshly ground black pepper and optionally a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix everything for half a minute or so until it turns into an orange creamy sauce that tastes absolutely amazing. Next are the vegetables and for that you need to first dice a yellow onion, this weighs about 50 grams and this will go into the pan with the beef. Now on top of the onion I will also chop up some fresh tomatoes, a bit of lettuce and also pickles and these I will put raw on top of everything, you can go with whatever vegetables you like, however I would suggest to try this combination first, it works really well on top of cheesy meat. Speaking of cheese, let's make the cheese sauce. First you need to add 25 grams of cheddar cheese. Yes, this is regular full fat cheddar that is quite high in calories, however in my opinion you need the taste of cheddar on a burger, nothing comes close to it and 25 grams isn't that much so calorie wise it's still fine. Next is 2 grams of cornstarch and this is an important ingredient, it will act as an emulsifier so the cheese sauce doesn't break. Lastly you need to add 50 grams of 3% fat evaporated milk, this will also help emulsifying the sauce and is a very common ingredient in all sorts of cheese sauces. So add this to the glass and that's it, this is the easiest cheese sauce of all time and it works fantastic, you need to try this out. So at this stage the microwave potatoes should be ready and we can get cooking but before that let me thank the sponsor of today's video Lingoda. Lingoda is an online language school that I personally use before starting this YouTube channel to improve my English skills. This is not an app, this is an online school with professional native level teachers that will help you improve your language skills either as a beginner, intermediate or advanced. The classes are 60 minutes long and are online and in those classes you and three to four classmates will focus on real life conversations as well as learning grammar structures and because there is a teacher you will constantly get feedback which helps a lot in learning a language. You can either book a class online following a structured curriculum or you can also choose a class by topic that interests you. And because the teachers live all over the world there are online classes 24 7 so you can be super flexible in choosing the right lesson. Click my link in the description and you can try Lingoda for yourself with their 7 day trial where you can have 3 small group classes is completely for free and if you decide to continue you will receive a 20% discount on your first month thanks Lingoda. Ok let's get cooking, heat up a pan to medium high heat, spray in some oil and add in your potatoes with a pinch of salt. Fry these now for about 5 minutes, stirring them occasionally and because they are peeled and microwave they will not only cook a lot faster, they will also get a nice crispy exterior so they are almost like roasted potatoes. You can also add spices, I like to add freshly ground black pepper and a couple of dashes of dried rosemary, rosemary tastes really good on top of potatoes. Give them a last stir and as soon as you are happy with the browning, remove them from the pan. So add again a bit of oil and now go in with the onion and fry them for about 2 minutes so they get translucent and start to caramelize. Then push them aside, spray another bit of oil and then add in the beef. Try to break out the meat and separate it so as much meat as possible comes in contact with the pan, this will create the maximum amount of browning and thus flavor. Add a pinch of salt and black pepper and after about 1 minute mix everything and keep frying for another minute max. Remember this is extra lean beef so it can get dry very fast. Once the meat is cooked you can switch off the heat and add in the cheese sauce. You will see that at first it looks like nothing melts but then it will start to become a very creamy cheese sauce. This takes about 30 seconds until it looks like this and then you can take everything off the heat. To serve this add the lettuce, tomatoes and pickles on top of the potatoes as a base and then add the prepared sauce. Lastly top everything with the cheesy beef and I'm telling you this one tastes absolutely delicious. 
The entire meal comes in with 683 calories, 63 grams of carbs, 28 grams of fat, and 57 grams of protein. If you want to lose weight and finally keep it off for the rest of your life, you need to check out my cookbook. Over 190 recipes are in this book, from breakfast to lunch to dessert, and even nutritional tables for protein content and calories and vegetables, everything you need is in there. And the best part is that I will constantly update the book and you will get all the recipe updates for free once you've purchased it. Thousands of people already bought the book and it sits at 4.9 out of 5 star rating, you won't regret buying this, the link is in the description.